Do we have bidders for 2017? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let me raise that. How many has been done? Is there anybody who isn't bidding? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No way. No how. No way. You probably want to rephrase that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would ask you not to come all up. I'll come up at once. Thanks. Really. You could fight it out, but we're not going to actually ask you any questions. So it would probably be easier if we just, unless this is all one bid. <laughs> Are you all one bid? No. All right, fine. I would like one of you to duke it out, decide that you want to present first, tell us who that is, and everybody else sits the hell down. Alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Alphabetical order, that would be a world con bid. <laughs> Now we decided, the rest of them decided you'd go in the next one, so it's uh, live on in 2017, the next first, uh, we, we will come up first. All right, and, and, and really guys, if, if you're not with Nippon, you want to all go like, sit down someplace, yeah. we'll call you up one at a time. Yeah, cause we, and, and we have a technical problem right now. It came out. It came out. Yep. Put it back in. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Right. There are two minutes available for each of these bidders. Two minutes to present. Okay, so I'm presenting on behalf of the Nippon 2017 bid. Next slide, please. Uh, as most of you already know, we held the World Con in Japan in 2007. Uh, I have a brief announcement about that first before I go on to our presentation. Uh, as most of you know, we had a significant loss from the World Con in 2007. I am pleased to say that thanks to the generosity of various individuals and from the World Cons, we have now raised sufficient funds that uh, once we pay it through to the uh, creditors in Japan, the debt will be fully paid off in the next couple of months. Just under half of that money came from sources inside Japan, the rest came from the rest of the world. Um, this is all the nice cool stuff we had last time, we'd really love to do it again. Um, all the details of what we're bidding for are on the uh, facts, I don't want to go through that. Next slide please. Uh, in the meantime, what we've been doing is we've been trying to work out how we can improve on last time. The main criticism from last time was a lot of people had a really good time. There, there wasn't enough chance for uh, intermingling between Japanese fans and the overseas fans. So we've been running this small convention, Halcon, uh, bilingual. These are the books from uh, guest, overseas guest honors every year. Um, and we've been trying out all sorts of fun things for how we can do bilingual program and get people to interact. Uh, if you want to know what we've been doing, talk to me outside because we only have two minutes. Thanks. We're also running the uh, Japanese National next year, um, which again, we're bilingual and try things out on a larger scale. Um, and that's all I really have to say at this point. Thank you very much.
which dates Labor Day weekend. Sorry, that was the important part. It will be Labor Day weekend 27. Thank you very much. Boston, Minneapolis, and Helsinki. <laughs> Are, is it going to be like halfway? <laughs> Mid Atlantic. Not quite. It's on a plane. Very good. Hi, I'm Amy. I've been presenting before you a couple of times before. So we're going to try and touch on new things that, or things that may not have been covered in the 2015 bid, as well as we hope so. But, um, because many other things happening for 17 are the same as we were hoping would be happening for 15. But some things, maybe not so much. Uh, 17 is the 100th Finnish anniversary of our independence, which is kind of nice. Um, but aside of that, we have a convention center that we think uh, is way better than you imagine it is, or well, maybe we just not told you well enough. Next slide. Um, that's what we hope to hold a few out. Um, what's, oh yeah, the stage there, we can make it completely flat on the ground so you don't have to actually step up anywhere. And we can make this thing scale so it's got up to about 4,000 seats on it. And what did not get quite clearly mentioned before is that we, can, we have another hall that where we can build up to seven lecture halls, aside from the ones that were listed before, up to about 450 people each. Um, next slide. Um, Helsinki Public Transport, we've talked about this before. Maybe it's not quite clear, Helsinki Public Transport is probably about the best in the world. That's what the roof plan for trains and trams, subways, and the bus lines that run every five minutes or, or faster is going to look like in 2017. On top of that, we have the normal bus network and on top of that, we have the system that we're now doing in, in Helsinki, where you can actually you know, order a point-to-point -point bus transport, like almost a taxi ride from any bus stop to any other bus stop. A bus type presence. Oh yeah, sorry for that. But public transport is of course free for all of them, remember? <laughs> um, uh, the hotel, the convention is going to be located I call. Never mind. It's there pretty much in the middle. And it's next to one of the main train stations, which runs next to the the other train station, which is the biggest one. And hotels. Whoa. Next slide. No. No. No more slide. Two minutes. Thank you.
complete this uh, website at uh, dc17.org. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.